What's up? My name is Ashley, and this is uh, Family Drama Monday. So we're back with Switched at Birth. Yes, I know. It's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you. Um, yeah. yeah um, so I'm finally getting back into you know these watch-alongs. Um, so we're on season one, episode two. Um, I, just, I guess I should um, note some things. Uh so I'm no longer doing the picture in picture anymore. Um, it got a bit complicated where um getting uh videos getting blocked because uh for react even though I um <coughs> was um uh making uh, most of the um video transparent as possible, um I don't want to risk getting blocked again. So what I'm doing now is just recording myself. I'm no longer putting a picture in picture. So if you do want to watch along, which is, you know, it's going to have hashtag watch along in the beginning of uh, the title. Um, you can just pretty much just boot up your Netflix or whatever, um, or find an episode or if you got DVDs or whatever, you know, the episode is how long? 43 minutes. So, um, literally 43 minutes. <laughs> So, um, yeah, if you want to do that, so do the watch along, um, the follow along, um, you know, you could do that. You just, like I said, just boot up your Netflix. Um, I'm definitely going to try to be more consistent with, um, uploading. I'm definitely going to try to upload every week. I started starting a new job, but, um, so my time, um, that I had to myself is very condensed. Um, but what I'm doing, I'm trying to do now is film as, uh, record as much videos as possible for the week in one day. So, you know, when that day comes up, I could just upload it. Like, I'm about to do, um, after this, I'm doing Mad Men. Um, I'm going to be doing, uh, hope maybe do Grace and Frankie um, after that as well. Or maybe later tonight, along with Voltron. And, I, I, yes, I will be starting Voltron on Thursday for Thursdays and Scandal for Fridays. Um, so, yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to get this up every week, every, um, every Monday, Family Drama Monday. Um, like, I, I just uploaded Charm. I'm recording this Sunday, so I just uploaded Charm. Um, I need to help me get this done so I can be ready for tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, like I said, boot up your um, Netflix or whatever. Um, start it and then rewind it. If you use Netflix, start it and rewind it. So, um, when I um, do the 3, 2, 1, and when I snap, you, that's when you press um, play. I don't want um, you to be caught up you know, with your stuff buffering, you know, um, so you end up, um, lagging behind. I want us to be as in sync as possible. Um, so yeah, um, about to get started. If, um, oh yeah, before I begin, um, you probably see in the video right now, um, I have started a Patreon and our, um, if you want to join that for Patreons, if you donate $15, <clears throat> what you um fund fifteen dollars um you get to pick two episodes per season of whatever show um you would like for me to do a condensed um version of uh with the picture in picture I will do a picture in picture if you um fund the fit um fifteen dollars or more um. Uh, but if you click on the Patreon, the, the link will be in the description, or I'm um, type it out in the video as well. So if you do that, um, you get the choice of picking two episodes, and I will I will edit um, a picture in picture condensed version, like a 15 react uh, minute reaction, like like a normal like my normal reaction videos, like I do with The Walking Dead or um, How to Go Ahead and Murder and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, but for the most part, it's just it's gonna be the full reaction. It's going to be full reaction and, um, sorry, I'm still a little sick. Full reaction, but yeah, yeah like I said, donate, the, uh, if you do the fund the two, um, ah, $15 or more, you get to, um, have that choice of doing that. So, uh, yeah, we're about to get started. So, and, uh, ready in three, two, one. Freeform. I keep forgetting it's called Freeform now. By the way, I think I've seen 
um, for this episode. <coughs> um, um, before and for my, hold on. <laughs> that was a popover. And she looks so much like Eliza Dushku. I was really, really just watching someone's reaction to um, a season three episode of Buffy, and I'm just like, this shit looks so much like Eliza Dushku. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, it ain't just me. She looks so much like young Eliza Dushku. <laughs> uh, she can't really keep up but that's probably like her everyday everyday life It's hard to read because she's not facing her. Ah. Uh. It's interesting. Yeah, because they got to remember, like, she's shady. Hey, you want to take it with you? He like, yeah, I get it. He's cute. <laughs> Oh Lord. Yeah. How do you afford that? Sheesh. Or maybe his family got it like that. It looks nice. Um, they don't need a new because that's not her kid. What are you gonna do something about? Oh, geez. I'm I'm starting to remember why I don't like them based on the first episode alone. Oh, God, especially the mom. Ooh. Ooh. Stress me already on episode two. I ain't watched this in months. Wasn't she um going to go to the other school or something like that? Or they were going to try to get her to go to the other school? That's understandable. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, because they don't, when they talk, they don't face her. They got to get used to that. Yeah. 
this is family, right? Yeah. See, I gotta get back into my um my signing. That's true. Ooh, hope it didn't skip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't like her. I don't care. I don't care. I don't like her. It's like her mom's you're like a fit you like a young Pharrell. But she won't tell him. Why don't you just tell him? You just tell him. Ain't that supposed to be your boyfriend? It's your boyfriend. You shouldn't be able to talk to him about stuff like this. See why he don't want to deal. Yeah, she didn't ask if she could take the wallpaper down. I mean, like, okay. <laughs> Dang, okay. <laughs> she does have a Yeah, you can't. Can you really undo that? Oh, he's adorable. Oh, damn. Also, oh, yeah, yeah, he did meet Daphne. He has like a little crush. Dang, he has no idea Daphne is base. Wait, what do you call that? Yeah. Is it hollow if you need me? Yeah, I was about to say. Because he was standing like, um... Oh, I'm digging it. I don't know. I don't think he's too fond of um, hearing people. So the fact that this is due.
She gonna do something stupid. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Have a seat, kid. See, she's sitting here thinking that she's the easier parent. Damn phone, every time I do a reaction, I'm not answering that. I'm just going to mute it. Ah, uh, he's so protective. It's cute. No, he seems like a genuine dude, though. I like Liam. Even though there's quite a few Liams on TV shows that's like bad dudes. I don't know what's up with that name. Which sucks, because I like the name. I guess. See? Ah! Uh, and he double dead. Oh, I would have popped the mess out of it. How you just going to put your crusty fingers in my bowl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. She is. Yeah. Yep. She understands. She yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And so Daphne probably doesn't drink at all. 
raised by an alcoholic mother and a uh, alcoholic mother who puts the foot down and stuff like that. Huh? <laughs> he came to see. <laughs> so she is Bay gonna end up in like some weird love triangle with him and um and um uh, Daphne's friend. Dang, she ain't even telling him the situation. It's got a cute. Yeah, so check yourself. She's like, what? <laughs> like, you got to talk to her face to face. They got to remember to speak directly so she can read your lips. Ah. <sighs> How would you ruin dinner? Have a seat. <sighs> wow. No, like <laughs> I don't like her. I don't like her. She's so she's like the epitome of white privilege and it's like really bitch like oh shit. And in this case, white hearing privilege. It's like, oh my gosh. And it has that passive aggressiveness. And it's like. <laughs> uh oh. Ah! 
<sighs> she like off. Oh. Wow. Wow. No, like. <laughs> yeah, not that. Nah. <laughs> no, it's not fair. They can't. No, they try to override her authority. But why they come on, Daphne, man? That's your mom, say. They started it. They mad disrespectful, and they and she did it right in front of everybody. Hey, right in front of her. It's like, hey, would you like me driving to school? I thought her mother said no. She's right. She rides with Emmett. That's completely and utterly disrespectful to her as a parent. Daphne, don't do that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. What's her name? Regina? The her? Who told me you judged her the moment you met her? Exactly. And you're going to say that right in front of your daughter. That's her biological mother, dickhead. Hey, man, you. <sighs> but you expect her to like you. It's it's so disrespectful, man. It's damn fool. No. Nah, man, that wasn't Regina's fault, man. I would have came at them too, cause that was completely ugly, disrespectful. Just like, but they like completely disrespecting her as a parent. They ain't even keeping an eye on their own damn child. It's like they low-key toss her to the side because they want their perfect Daphne.
Yeah, because they're trying to take your shit. <laughs> Whew, this is getting me emotionally invested. It's going to raise my blood pressure. We're only on episode two. I don't know how I'm going to get through this show. Not really. His his excuse was terrible. Oh, oh, that's complicated. Heard of them, right? Not really, she just said me on trees only. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, she's teaching him how to read lips. I like. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get that last part. Oh. Smooth. You were wrong. Is someone getting their head out of their ass? It's phone. Oh, that's not okay. Exactly. That's her kid, despite everything. Exactly, Daphne is a good person. You know, like Daphne is some is bad. Like, consider your own daughter. 
Like, Daphne's a cakewalk. Wow. And bro, that, that shit ain't funny. Hey, ignorant. That's foul. <coughs> All right. Oh, she told him. Mm. Good point. Uh uh. They out here making moves. Meanwhile, baby Pharrell, homies, just messed it up for him and Daphne. Oh, she called Emmett. Oh, she called Emmett. Oh. It sucks because it wasn't even Liam. It was his douchebag friends. But you know that whole yard of company you keep. That's why you gotta be careful who you roll with. And that happens to me a lot. When you like you hang with somebody, but it's only when you put them in a certain I guess in a situation mixed company, like it seemed cool then, but you realize how ignorant and messed up they are when you see them with someone else, uh with other people, it's like wow. Open your eyes to like how ugh that person is. I hope them two get along. <laughs> Yo, she really looked like Elijah Dushku. And it's freaking me out. The, the eyes, the, even the lips, it's so weird. And there's a specific episode, too. I think season, I think it's episode Angel, actually. Good to say you were just... 
Why don't you just say she was just chilling outside? Kind of, but. And I love your kid. <laughs> See, my house was the other way around. I was like, Mom, don't tell that. I'm glad Daphne acknowledged it's like it's not just you. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> I can't. I don't know what's up with this show. We only on episode two and it got me stressed, you know? There we go. See? That's, oh, it might be working out, son. I still got my eye on them parents, though. Especially you. You, lady. Yeah. Squirrel? Oh, I think I knew that. Is that weird? <laughs> oh. Yeah, just, just, just go. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Not your kid. Exactly. Therefore, you don't have a say in how my kid is. Hey! 
Hey, man, I was just coming around you. For... See, at least the father is reasonable. He can kind of get under, like, make me side out of the mess out of him, too. But he's far more reasonable than his wife. Oh. <laughs> Just let it go. See, if y'all was far more respectful, she probably would have been open to um to, to do this with y'all. But y'all mad foul with it. <sighs> Jesus, here she go. She's hiding something. Bitch, you make me want to drink. Imagine how Regina feels. All right. <laughs> Was that crossing the line a little bit? Um, yeah, so. Oh, crap. I think I actually clicked the next episode. Click out. Click out. So, uh, yeah, that was a great episode. I really enjoyed it. I hope the volume recorded on this. It's recording my voice because my camera is being iffy. So it's kind of like I need a new, whole new laptop. Um, hopefully I'll be getting, I might be getting that soon too, in the next few weeks as well. Um, cause I'm my new job, I'll be getting paid every week. So <clears throat> yeah, hopefully that's a thing. Um, me getting a new laptop soon. Um, I will say this. I was just coming around. I was just about to come around. Linda was having that moment. She was like, you know, I f like have a seat. That's not, I don't even know the mom's, the, the, um, the two white parents, I don't know their names. I, uh, they don't really say their names on the show. I haven't really heard it, if I'm not mistaken. Regina's this. Um, Regina's name is said um, a lot more. Um, which is how I realized hers was Regina. Uh, uh, I really like Liam and Daphne. I hope Liam doesn't have any ulterior motives. Ulterior motives. It looked like they was really having fun. Um, but like I was saying, with, um, you know, his friends, you know, when you hang out with somebody and, you know, and you realize your friends or people that you know, um, it's uh, flaws that you've accepted in a sense or you had gotten comfortable with in a sense because you was down so much that you ended up being comfortable with um, certain flaws until you put those flaws into mixed company and you realize, like, wow, very flawed, very ignorant, very just completely um, unacceptable, um, which is why I think what happened with Liam at that moment, because this happened to me many times, which is like you have to and you, you look at your friends very differently after that. <clears throat> it's one of those situations where you... Uh, Oh, you do know that they're flawed. Um, but, you know, they have other qualities about them that you do like. So you pretty much ignore those flaws because you focus on those positive qualities. Um, and when you all like, you introduce them, that flawed, surreally flawed person to, like, you know, maybe a family or other friends or someone, you know, and you're like, you got to, like, give them a heads up about it's like, okay, whenever you got to give somebody a heads up about somebody, <laughs> I was like, um, when you do that whole, um, they, you know, this person's kind of an asshole, but you got to get used to it. I mean, like, you get used to it. I mean, um, it may be all pudding, but, you know, it's, that's probably what that situation was. But, um, yeah, I think he got definitely got an eye opener about um, his friends. So hopefully that will be taken. And they, those are most likely his teammates, probably not even like friends, friends, it's just people he just hang with because, you know, they're teammates and stuff. <laughs> they're in the same circle because they play sports together. And I like Bay and the other dude. I don't know his name. Um, I need to learn these names. Emmett, I like him. He's very protective. He's, 
I'm glad he didn't, you know, hit, hit her with that I told you so. So he's, uh, he doesn't seem douchey in that sense. But he's very protective. And he's very wary of hearing people, which is very special considering what happened with Daphne and um, Liam's friends. Um, he has a right to. This is probably something they go through their whole lives. This is why, you know, the deaf community is a very uh, tight-knit community. Um, and they're very protective of their community and culture. <coughs> uh, what was I talking about? Bay's parents. Her mom. I'm sorry. I keep going back to her. Woo! And, like, the disrespect. I'm never going to get over that dinner. I, it's going to be a while before I get over that. I don't care how, you know, nice she is from here on out. And even she, then she goofed it up at the end because I was like, okay, you might be making me come around, but I'm still going to side on you. It's like, no, I'm completely side on you right now. She's up to something. Or she's hiding something. Like, ma'am. I want to fight her. Is that wrong? I'm not. A, I don't like violence. I don't like um, bestowing violence on anyone. My hair. What's going on? Um, but yeah, she would. Need, she if Regina decides to give it, you know, two piece her, i would be like, hey, she had it coming. Um, and I hated how everyone kept going on Regina because, and I know people like that. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, just. It's just a white person thing, but like it's that they had that white privilege type of job, where it's like. <coughs> um, and this is not me, you know, trying to bring up race and everything, but it's uh, like I know a lot of white women, especially um, when they deal with people, they have like a very passive aggressive. I'm not saying all white women do this or something like that, but it's kind of they have like there's a certain passive aggressiveness when they do stuff sometimes. Ah, sorry, my voice, but um, she's one of those those type of um, white privileged women. With yeah, like there's a passive aggressiveness and and it's a blatant. It's hard to explain, um, and I guess it's more noticeable when you are a person of color, and it's happening to you. And yes, it's something that does happen to me. And Regina is a woman of color, <clears throat> and this is the sense of passive aggressiveness of this, you know, rich white lady who's very privileged, who's very arrogant, and very ignorant, and um, and then tries to you know play innocent when you know the card is pulled. When they get called out, and then they try to pull the innocent card, and it's like, no, like, don't do that because that's very, absolutely, utterly disrespectful. And I got your number, but you try to make it seem like I'm crazy when I knew what you were trying to do, and that was very much displayed in this episode. And that was very, it's something that happens if you're not a um, person of color, especially a woman of color. You will, <coughs> you're probably not going to really notice it, but it is a thing. It is very much a thing. Um, uh, what else happened this episode? That might be it. But this was this was actually a really good episode. I was very invested. It got me in my chest. I, whew. Um, and like I said, this is only episode two. Um, the title episode was American Gothic. Or something like that. But uh, yeah. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share, share. I'm about to um, record Mad Men. But um Um, I'm about to record Mad Men, and um, it's about to. I'm trying. I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to be a lot more consistent. Oh, try to be a lot more consistent with my recordings. So <coughs> I will be trying to do this every week. And when I do get my find myself in the rhythm of things, I might try to upload like two episodes a day. So like maybe a couple weeks from now, I'll probably put up um, two Switch That Birth episodes a day. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share, share. Um, come back, because Ashley will, because Ashley can. <laughs>